Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're playing Black White Tithing Blade. Tithing Blade is the namesake of the deck. It is a two mana artifact that when it enters the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature and you can flip it into a thing called Consuming Sepulcher, which will drain your opponent every turn. So the point of this deck is to use Core Skyfisher and Glinthawk to pick up and replay your Tithing Blade over and over, getting a bunch of value that way. Plus you have eight inspectors with Novice Inspector and Thraven Inspector. We've got Deadly Dispute to draw a bunch of cards, Lembus for card selection, and then a little bit of extra random. We got a couple Duress, Disfigure as a removal spell, Omen of the Dead as a way to generate a lot of value because Omen of the Dead can get Core Skyfisher back. Then you can Skyfisher back the Omen of the Dead, getting back more Skyfishers, etc. until you get back your Glenhawk. And then we have two Suffocating Fumes to cycle that can cycle or sweep. Thorn of the Black Rose as a one-off for Monarch, and Okipa Gang as a one-off for uh, beating our opponent via discard type stuff. There's one Bachuka Bog in the land mana base and some uh, Basilicas to pick it up and replay it. But this deck is from a 10th place, I believe, challenge finish. I'll link the uh, deck in the description below. This deck list comes to us from um, Alan, Patreon subscriber Alan. Thank you very much. This is a deck donation. Uh, so I'm going to run my not very standard mid-range <laughs> into a league and see how it does. This deck is really sweet, gets a lot of uh, people hyped, so I'm excited to check it out. In the sideboard, we've got some Dust of Dust for Affinity, Cleric for uh, random Graveyard Hate, as well as Art of, or Enchantment Hate. Arms of Hadar is more sweepers, more duresses, another omen, and then relic for your terror and your uh, dredge. I think that covers everything. If you're interested in checking out the sideboard guides for the decks that I like to play, check out patreon.com slash for familiars, Tron, uh, Mono Red Storm, Poison Storm, stuff like that. Also on the Patreon, if you want to uh, have me play a deck of your choosing, there are tiers for that. Make sure to like and subscribe on this video. It really helps me out, and I appreciate that. And check out Pondering Popper Podcast. I think that's enough for right now. Let's get into the matches. Okay, round one versus Junjun. So this is an okay deck, or an okay hand if Duress is okay. Uh, I think I'll try it. We can always uh, Deadly Dispute. So they're on Cogate. Hmm. Let's try a duress and see if we can take away a uh, modern age. Nothing. Okay. Weird. That is a very strange keep. They have seven lands and a Rafine's informant. <laughs> okay. All right. They play the Rafine's informant. This card's a black dragon gate. So it's some sort of white black gate stack. You can Tithing Blade away their creature. Nice. Goodbye. Should have known that it was black instead of blue on the Citadel Gate there. They play another gate, Citadel Gate. I have a Lembus, so I'm going to fetch first. And I guess I'm going to grab um, a Plains. Kind of hard to say at this point. I don't know enough about the deck. Play the Lembus, Scry. I will top the Thraven Inspector. So this next turn I can Thraven Inspector and then Deadly Dispute the Thraven Inspector and draw some cards. Or I could also Deadly Dispute the Lembus. That might be better. It's not like we need the life gain right now. Our opponent plays a Militia Bugler getting a Breathless Knight. So it's Black White Gates stuff. So Duress doesn't do anything here. Let's Deadly Dispute the Lembus. That gets shuffled back in. Draw. Okay, we have Suffocating Fumes and an Obscura. I have to play this. Grabbing a Swamp this turn. I really want to get the Thorn of the Black Rose going. I think I'm going to play the Thraven Inspector, or the Novice Inspector, though. I need to kill their creatures. So given the Breathless Knight, they probably have some ways to get stuff back from the graveyard. I kind of doubt that they're going to um, gate up the Militia Bugler here. If they do, then maybe we can go Cast Down plus Thorn on the next turn. Although the Life Linker here ha does have Flying, so that's a problem. They're free to just get in. Sure, take two. So we're looking for some uh, Glenhawks and stuff so we can just Tithing Blade them out. 
plays the Breathless Knight. Okay. I'm going to lead on... I don't think the Novice Inspector matters here. I'm just going to deadly dispute the Novice Inspector. We can get it back with Omen of the Dead, maybe, if we want. Or Skyfisher. Okay. So I can Skyfisher, pick up the Tithing Blade, then replay it. And that's one creature down. So they can replay their other creature if they want. Okay. So Breathless Knight, they're going to keep on the battlefield. I could have just gone Skyfisher, pick up Tithing Blade, and then hold up Cast Down as well. Maybe that would have been better. This giant lifelinker. Recommission, okay. That's pretty expected. <sighs> There's a couple of Black Dragon Gates. They have Guardian the Guild Pact. That's not good. Pretty bad, actually. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's in for a million. We block. <clears throat> Land. I guess I can Omen of the Dead back my Skyfisher. So I can go cast down this thing, play the Skyfisher, pick up the Tithing Blade, and then pass the turn. Then I can block here, Omen back my Skyfisher, and then go Tithing Blade, Skyfisher, Tithing Blade. Getting rid of their Guardian, hopefully. Is there a Fiend's Informant? You discard a Citadel Gate. So I think we know two of the cards in their hand. No, the Breathless Knight went away, right? We already used that. Okay, they have the Guardian. That could definitely kill me. It's a bunch of damage. Uh, Let's Omen. Get back to Skyfisher. Okay. Land. Play the Tithing Blade. Kill a creature. So this is 12, 14 damage. Let's Skyfisher back the Tithing Blade. Then... The tough part is like, hmm, Thorn's not really doing anything for me here. Duress not doing anything. They can Tithing Blade, they can gate up this Guardian and then I'm going to die. So I just Tithing Blade and then make them gate and hope to find another creature. I have two draws. I'm going to attack you. Next turn I have a regular draw plus the clue. And then I can maybe hit another Tithing Blade or... Um, any one of our hawk creatures. So this is 14, 15, 16 damage. They play a Breathless Knight instead. Okay, so that gives them the ability to kill me next turn through all of this. Stupid Guardian. Do I have any way to deal with this? Not really. I think Blade you. So I have to draw into another one right now. Oh, I should have just drawn a card in case I drew a, a removal spell. Uh, all right, we died to Guardian the Guild Pact. Let's try again. We almost got there. Hmm. So Duress is bad. I could see Arms of Hadar being okay. Suffocating Fume seems bad as well. Bring in the Dawnbringer Clerics. Let's try that. We're on the play. We have to keep their creatures off the table. Um, is this a keep? So, I feel like this doesn't do anything. I'm going to mulligan. This seems fine. Okay, I have the, all of the hawk value. I don't really need the cast down, right? Because I can just Tithing Blade and then keep going from there. So let's play the storefront and get a swamp and pass the turn. Swamp, your turn. They're probably not going to play a creature turn one. They just play a tap Black Dragon Gate on white. So they have a black-white land now. We have a cast down. Let's oops. Play a Thraven Inspector. Pass the turn. <laughs> the clock is here. Only 20 turns to victory. Plays a land. Plays a creature. Okay. We will kill your creature with the Tithing Blade. They have their own Tithing Blade. Doing the same thing over here. They put the Tithing Blade into the graveyard. Interesting. Okay. Tithing Blade you. And then I'm going to Glinhawk back the Tithing Blade. Okay, let's pick it up and send one. We're looking pretty good here. We have two removal spells. Now the question I guess is whether or not I should try to draw land with the clue. Play Rafine's Informant. I think it's better just to keep their board clear, but I don't know. They discard a Sacred Cat. Plays Basilisk Gate, so they could return the Sacred Cat next turn. Um, I think I have to try to draw land. Okay, I do draw land. Let's pass 
I'll just attack you for two in the air. If they want to gate the Rafine's informant, that's okay. I want to use my targeted removal on things that are not Guardian so that I can just keep stuff off the table. <clears throat> They're paying some mana. What are you going to do? If they unearth the Sacred Cat, that'd be bad. They Rafine's informant again. Conniving away what? Discarding a Sacred Cat or a cast down. Not Sacred Cat. All right, I'm going to take the three because I want to continue pressuring them. Let's go kill this, kill your other creature, and attack. Take three. Oh, I should note that I'm going to change the settings for my, uh, my time cuts. And if this looks a little less jarring, let me know. If it's too slow, let me know as well. We have a Militia Bugler. So we can just pick up the Tithing Blade and replay it. They find a Sacred Cat. All right, let's uh, start with, I guess, the Lembus. See what's on top. Bottom of the land. Draw another Lembus. Let's Tithing Blade your thing. And then play the Core Skyfisher, picking up the Tithing Blade. So have infinite removal spells, basically. That's kind of neat. Send. You're now at 11. They only have one white source here, so they can bring back the cat right now, but it doesn't win. Play another white source, so they're going to have at least a few creatures here, and they found a sacred cat off the Militia Bugler. So we're trying to keep the board clear still. They bring back the cat from the graveyard. So I'm going to go Tithing Blade, your cat, and then Lembus. I, I actually, I'm going to crack the Lembus right now. Put it back into the deck and see what we do. It's not like I was going to use that mana anyway. Let's bottom the vault. Silica back this. Send five. It's going to be a problem here if they can actually get the cat. I guess they're going to get the cat into play this turn. And then we're worried about like dying to them on the return. Because they're going to just be able to get like a bunch of value. Like They'll be able to outlife gain me here unless I can kill their cat this turn. We can't... Do anything with this. They recommission the Tithing Blade. Okay, I'll get rid of my Draven Inspector. It's really, I've never seen that before. Picks up the Tithing Blade with the Core Sky Fisher. Okay. We have the same thing here <laughs> Sky Fisher, pick up the Tithing Blade, play the Tithing Blade. We take four. I think they're dead now. Yep, sweet. On to game three. I don't think anything else really needs to be done. Maybe Omen of the Dead is better than... Let's see, Disfigure is minus two, minus two. Get rid of this. Maybe Okiba Gang's not necessary. All right, once again, we have Early Tithing Blade. We have Lembus. This one looks pretty good. We can fetch a... Let's keep this. We can fetch a Swamp and then play Lembus or Tithing Blade on turn two. They play a Black Dragon Gate on white. Okay. All right, let's go. I think I get a planes here, actually. I have more white spells in my hand, and then I can go like Core Skyfisher plus Novice Inspector on the next turn. They play Citadel Gate. Plays a Sacred Cat. I mean, we're just going to go Hiding Blade. Keep everything off the table. All right, Cat down. Are they going to bring it back is the question. Drawing the Basilica is nice, too, because we have just... Tons of land drops lined up. We have three more land drops basically here. Play a Seeker Squire. Finding a cast into the fire. They do have that mana available, so I probably want to pick up the Tithing Blade right now. Or Sky Fisher. Picking up the Tithing Blade. And I'll go land. Hmm, they could kill my land, I guess. Let's play a Thraven Inspector and pass the turn. So I guess I want to... Hmm. They can sacrifice... Sorry, what am I talking about? They play a Tithing Blade of their own. I'll get rid of the Thraven, since I can block with the Core Sky Fisher. Play a Sacred Cat. I could, if I find an untapped land, I can Tithing Blade back something. Okay. Sorry, I can Tithing Blade here, kill a creature, play Core Sky Fisher, pick up the Tithing Blade. This is a very odd mirror here. Whoever draws more Tithing Blade wins, I guess. Pick it back up. All right. Send. <clears throat> I play Vassal's Gate. So they can start jamming in a ton of damage. I think I'll just take it this turn and Tithing Blade the creature away. There's a Militia Bugler. They find a Rafine's Informant. So they are going wide here. 
Oh, they discarded the cast into the fire at some point. Hmm. Fiend's informant. I guess I got confused. I thought they revealed the cast into the fire. They discarded militia bugler. No attacks. Um, I'm gonna play Alembus. Then I think I'm gonna hold open the cast down. I'm gonna bottom the land because I already have a bunch of lands lined up. Even though I want that land right now, and I'll attack you for four. Uh, let's attack for two. I'm holding back the Bugler and the Seeker Squire, I guess. Maybe I shouldn't have attacked and then I could have like double blocked the, the Bugler or the Squire. Cast down the other thing. That probably would have made more sense. Play a Core Sky Fisher. So they're going to be able to Tithing Blade me now. Right, Tithing Blade. We'll get rid of the tapped Core Sky Fisher. X for three. All right, attacks for a lot. I'll block here. I mean, we do have the Lembus to gain life. I'm just going to draw a card. They didn't gate up their creature. I have five, six mana if I want. I guess I just... Hmm. Lead on Tithing Blade to get rid of a creature. I suppose at this point, the Obscura Storefront is worth more than the Basilica because it will thin a little bit. Let's play that. And we are looking at maybe a uh, Plains. Play the Novice Inspector. I'll pass the turn. I play a Citadel Gate again, choosing black. Dust to dust on my stuff. Okay. That's pretty mediocre overall. I don't know why you would do that. Gets in for three. Okay, I'll draw a card. You find a Titan Blade again. I'm not going to block. I have the Lembus to gain some life. There's another Seeker Squire, and they reveal a Titan Blade. So what do they do with that? They keep it. We have an Arms of Hadar. What does that do for me? Gets rid of this thing. Mm. Let's go land. I'll attack with the Novice Inspector. Let's attack with everything. If they want to block. All right, great. Great, they're blocking. Good. Good. Oh, they're not blocking. They are blocking. Just trying to get a two for one here. <laughs> I guess this they're incentivized to block because they have the Tithing Blade in hand. Let's Arms you. And then pass. They are going to Tithing Blade my creature, but I have cast down for their other creature. And then I can uh, Tithing Blade away their other creature. And then I can, once you... So I can't actually cast or uh, flip my Tithing Blade this turn. Yeah, cast down on that. So I guess I'm looking for a... Uh, I'm looking for an Omen of the Dead now. We have Bajukabog. That's pretty good, actually, because we can Tithing Blade them. And then Bajuka bog them, and then they can't flip their Tithing Blades. And I will, guess, pass the turn. Depending on if they have a creature or not, I can crack the Limbus. No creature. I guess I don't really need to crack the Limbus. It would be better to get the value. All right, let's go Skyfisher. Pick up the Limbus. Play the Limbus. And then Scry 1 draw. Limbus on top, sure. Let's do it again. Looking for the Omen of the Dead. Novice Inspector. I'll keep that on top. Play the Basilica. Picking up the Bajukabog. And that's it. I'll just F6 here. I don't have anything to do. They have two cards in hand now. Plays Rafine's Informant. Discards of Planes. Seeker Squire. Finding a Rafine's Informant. Getting some value. Okay. So who's winning? I guess they're winning? Hmm. Let's just Novice Inspector and draw a card. Draw a card. We find the Omen of the Dead. So we can get back Skyfisher, Skyfisher. All right, let's Omen of the Dead. Back the Skyfisher. Play the Skyfisher. Pick up the Omen of the Dead. And then we're going to Basilica, picking up the planes and attack you. So then the question becomes like, what do I want to pick up with the Omen of the Dead? Hmm. I guess I can like chump block with this core Skyfisher. And then, okay, they're going to make their creature big, but I'll just cast down in, in response. And I can like chump with the core Skyfisher and then start the Omen of the Dead loops again, which is pretty sweet. Play a Rafine's Informant. They discard a Seeker Squire to make their Rafine's Informant larger. So I'm going to Bajukabog them. Bog you. Let's start on Deadly Dispute the Lembus. 
Lemus comes back into the deck. We have a Tithing Blade. Tithing Blade you. Let's play another Lemus. See if we can find a creature to pick up the Tithing Blade. We do. All right, I think they're dead. Linhawk. Okay, pick up the Tithing Blade. And play it again. And then attack for five. And even if they flip their own Tithing Blades here, I don't think they can win. We're way ahead. They concede and we win the game. We're 1-0. Let's go to round two. We're in round two versus Kid Renan, who likes to play affinity stuff. We have no lands. So we're going to mulligan. Uh, we have cast down duress. I'm going to keep this and put back the suffocating fumes. I just feel like that's not the, a good card in the deck right now. Versus like an affinity opponent. Let's try duress and see what they're doing. Uh, I'll take the blood fountain here. Gives them the most value. And say go. So they're not going to be able to cast the thought cast very easily. We find out. Yes, I Basilica picking up the vault. And then the next turn, it's going to be like Lembus into Glenhawk. They play their land. Play, play my land. Lembus. Probably should not really play the. Hmm. The Jukabog could be okay. I think I'm going to bottom it though. Play the Glenhawk. Yes, pick up the Lembus. So the Blood Fountain would have given them two artifacts. One, two, three. They can cast their, their thought cast for three mana here, which they do. So let's get a land and get a planes. Play the Limbus. Uh, I don't need that land right now. Play Novice Inspector. Send two. We have double cast down, so we can kill at least one Mirror Enforcer. We have a clue. We have three artifacts. Mirror Enforcer costs four right now, so we can just zap it. There's a Krar Clan Shaman. Okay. I don't know that I care about that. Let's attack. Okay, they're going to take it. Play Glenhawk. We'll pick up the Lembus. And then play the Lembus again. They are probably going to deadly dispute their um, arc. I'm going to bottom the land here. And go land and draw a card. I could have put the Novice Inspector on the table, I guess. I just felt like their Krark is here for them to deadly dispute. <clears throat> They get in. No, one damage. So scary. Four, five, six, seven. So Mirror Enforcer costs three right now. Find a Basilica. Let's attack for three. I feel like they don't want to. They're trying to get to the point where I'm going to use removal on their creature and they can deadly dispute it, which I'm not down for. Let's play Omen of the Dead. Get back to Glenhawk. Then Glenhawk. Pick up the Lembus. Play the Lembus. I'll play Lemus into the Novice Inspector and then Basilica back a land. I guess I keep the other Novice Inspector. Basilica, pick up a land. My Novice Inspector, good turn. Doesn't seem like they have Metallic Rebuke in hand. We know three of the cards they have in their hand. Now their Mirror Enforcer is way cheaper. Plays a Mirror Enforcer. So they're looking to Reckoner's Bargain it probably. Let's go Tithing Blade. Sacrifices their creature. Let's cast down their other creature. They're going to use a Reckoner's Bargain to gain a bunch of life. Okay. Goes to 19. Let's try drawing a card. Thorn of the Black Rose. Okay. My Novice Inspector. Swing out. They're at 13. We have one removal spell. We have Thorn. Their Mirror Enforcer is dead. They have a Deadly Dispute in hand. Plays a Gurmag. Didn't really expect Gurmag out of their deck. There's a Deadly Dispute. Now they have two mana. Sacrifice to Vault of Whispers. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know what's going on with, with them Deadly Dispute in their land there. I'm going to start with Cast Down on your creature. They Reckoner's Bargain it. Okay. They're even higher in life. Let's play Thorn of the Black Rose. Play this Swamp in case I draw a Cast Down. And I will attack with everything. They're at 13. What do we draw? Basilica. All right. So they could take the Monarch back if they have Kenku right now. They're going to Blood Fountain and get back Mirror Enforcer, Krark Clan Shaman, probably. Plays a Krark. Okay. Your Seeker Serpent. Sacrifice some stuff so that. All right. Sure. I think that's still fine. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to draw another card for turn. Got the Monarchy going. They deadly dispute their creature. I'm going to draw. 
looking to draw into something that can deal with the uh, Gear Seeker. But the Krar Clan Shaman does not deal with the Glenhawks. Plays a Mirror Enforcer. Okay. What do we got? Or Skyfisher. Skyfisher. Pick up the Tithing Blade. Play the Tithing Blade. Play Novice Inspector. I'll draw a card. Play the Basilica. Pick up a random land. And I will attack you. My plan is to block with the Novice Inspector. We draw a card for Monarch. They're currently at 9. Surprising to see that we're doing pretty decently against Affinity here. They could have double removal spell, maybe. We have so many lands in hand. Just Novice Inspectors in the graveyard. Block. I want to block with my ground guy because of them getting back Karkland Shaman. Or the Karkland Shaman that's in hand. Hmm. I should have probably used the Omen there. Let's crack the Limbus. Then use the Omen. So this doesn't work. Bottom this. I top the Skyfisher, then I can block and block. Or I can just like go for it. Play a land. Flip the Tithing Blade. Crafting it with the Novice Inspector. And then attack for six. Kill one of my creatures. Alright, well you go to five. We do draw a card. Draw the core Skyfisher. Play a land. They're going to hit us for six. Now they have the Monarchy. We're going to drain them down to four and then attack for four. So they have to blast both my creatures. One. They're blasting. Did not expect makeshift munitions there. That was really pretty intense. That swung the game for sure on, on their end. That sucks. <clears throat> All right, they go to four. Kill this. They throw it at my face. Then I can Skyfisher back the Consuming Sepulchre. Play it as a Tithing Blade. Kill their creature. Then flip it again on the Novice Inspector. And pass the turn. So in four turns, they're dead. They could still kill my makeshift, my guy. Plays a Kenku. So they're holding on to the monarchy here. All right, they go to three. Find a Tithing Blade. Let's flip it. Play the Basilica. And F6, picking up a land. No attacks. They're drawing a ton of cards. They get in for three. I'm not going to block this turn. Because if I can get in, then we will have them dead. Play a Wellspring. They're going to have to throw a bunch of damage at my Core Skyfisher. Okay, they're shooting this Core Skyfisher here with the, all their stuff. Are you going to throw your bridge at my Core Skyfisher? Like, what are you going to do here? They draw a card for turn. They don't kill it. They must have a cast down in hand. I will attack. All right, let's deadly dispute the Core Skyfisher then. Find a Thraven Inspector. Play that guy. And then draw. Uh, find a land. Play the storefront. Grabbing a random land, hopefully. And your turn. So they have to have a way to, I don't know, they have to have a way to kill me here. Or draining them out. Reckoner's Bargain would continue to keep them alive. The makeshift munitions shooting me with the Icker Wellspring is concede. All right. Got them. So we want all the dust to dust, obviously. Suffocating fumes are not very good. The relic could be good because then they can't get their stuff back. I feel like duress actually we worked out pretty decently there. This figure is clearly bad. Um, hmm. Maybe let's get rid of these two cards. Although Okiwi Gang is crazy good, but they probably have a bunch of removal for it. So what do I not want here? I guess I'll just take out one cast down. So I'm, I want to do a value game. <laughs> we have the dust. So we probably want to go like novice inspector and then crack the clue and then try to dust them turn three. But the rest would be a good draw here. They mulligan to five. All right, we have another Thraven inspector. Nice. Land novice inspector. Plays a Nile spell bomb. It's kind of odd. Play another Thraven inspector. Play, I guess I want to play my tap land here and attack. Now, will they have the answer to the dust to dust? Survey says, Metallic Rebuke is online right now. 
you have it. They did. Congrats to them. All right, we are going to double block the frog mite. All right, they don't do anything with that. Let's crack a clue. Now we can tithing blade their frog mite. Okay, send two. I guess Nile Spellbomb is good for craft with creature, but I think I use the craft like before it even matters. So I don't know how that works. Gear Seeker Serpent. Okay. Looking for let's actually. I'm dumb. So Glenhawk. Pick up the Tithing Blade. Play the Tithing Blade. Basilica. Pick up the Bajuka Bog. And attack you. So now they have to use the Blood Fountain this turn. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of their two creatures that are in their graveyard. You got bogged. Plays a Mirror Enforcer. Okay, that thing is dead. They bog you. No creatures for you. And let's draw a card. Another Tithing Blade, wow. Send. <laughs> Feels good to run over Affinity here. Plays a Mirror Enforcer again. And a gear seeker. Okay. One, two, three. We're gonna dust to dust this and this. Go ahead and tithing blade you. Basilica. Pick up the Bajuka Bog. And send two. I guess I could have just dusted dusted the mirror enforcer, and then that would have given me the tithing blade on their gear seeker, but it just felt better to get rid of their lands. Alright, gets in for five? No. Okay. Apologies, but it's got to be the way it's got to be. Tithing Blade comes back. Tithing Blade you again. <laughs> but you could bog them. Wow, we're really steamrolling them. Send your turn. What are they going to do? Nothing. Reckoner's Bargain, their Wellspring. That makes sense. Now they go to seven life. I mean, I could deadly dispute a Tithing Blade, I guess. Just to see what I can draw. But it's not going to matter. I could also deadly dispute a Novice Inspector and then... Get after them with the tithing blade, like by flipping it. That seems fine. All right, let's uh, put them put them to one. Deadly dispute my inspector. Play my dust to dust. <laughs> they have another uh, rebuke. Oh, uh, rebuke this time. All right, that's fine. We'll pay. Goodbye to your lands. We win the match. On All right, round three. We're playing against Baiko de Gaia. Besu de Gaia? I don't know. Besu? So we can get our Swamp online and then Tithing Blade them. They are usually on Fairies. It looks like a Fairies deck again. So do I want to play the Thraven Inspector now and then go for Storefront later? I think I'm going to Storefront now, getting the Swamp, and then I can play the Novice Inspector and disfigure a Spellstarter Sprite. I play Augur of Bolas. So we'll just Tithing Blade the Augur of Bolas. They find a Snuff Out. And Augur is dead. Plays a land. Play land. Play Glenhawk. Resolves. Okay, pick up the Tithing Blade. Play Novice Inspector. Pass down on the Glenhawk. Okay. So they could potentially go for Thorn here. <laughs> okay, they've got the Snuff Outs. <laughs> <laughs> no thorn coming up unless they draw it. Plays an island. One snuff out gone. Uh, let's lead on a Lembus. Looking for creatures now. Um, I'll bottom this one. Find a cast down. Let's draw a card. Well, attack. We can draw a card later. Play another island. Lorien revealed. I will also draw cards. Draw a Tithing Blade. Thraven Inspector. Play the Thraven. Draw a card off the Thraven. Trying to accrue some value here. And a Bajuka Bog. I think it's probably appropriate to Bajuka them so they cannot play a Terror or anything. Send. And now we probably want to start, like, maybe flipping the Tithing Blade. I'm not sure. We do have to Disfigure. They preordain. So we're sort of set up to beat... They still have the double Snuff out in hand, which is crazy. Like, we need more creatures. They preordain into a fetch land. So they must have drawn the fetch land. They have the thorn. They're just gonna snuff it off. Kill both my creatures right now. <coughs> Surprisingly, they don't. 
crazy, crazy hand with the double snuffs. All right, um, let's lead on the Lembus, see if we can find some way to like deadly dispute my novice inspector or something or another creature. Uh, the rest is not good. Bottom that, another Thraven inspector. So let's go for the tithing blade Then they have to snuff out, snuff out. And I play the Thraven inspector and pass the turn. Snuff out. Saw that coming. Snuff out. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Okay. Sacrifice your thing. I'll play a Thraven Inspector. So now I probably should flip my Tithing Blade to try to drain them out. There's an Augur of Bolas. Okay. I can cast down the Augur of Bolas and, and attempt to attack, but they might have um, Counterspell. In which case the duress might have been fine. But I do have the tithing blade. I forgot about that in my hand. I'm not even looking around. Plays a brainstorm. Let's uh let them do their thing. They need to find another um removal spell. Plays another augur of bolus. Revealing a Lorian of Revealed. So we can kill both those things. And they've used three snuff outs, right? Yeah, so what's the likelihood they have another one? Hopefully not that good. <sighs> uh kill your thing. Kill your thing. Attack. We take the monarchy. Sweet. And let's draw a card looking for a land drop. No lands. We have Omen of the Dead now, so we can pick up the Glenhawk and then go from there. This deck is steamrolling people. Play the land. Thorn of the Black Rose again. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go for the Omen of the Dead. Trying to get back the Glenhawk, they're making Glenhawk. They have Spellsetter Sprite, which I have, guess what? A Disfigure. Didn't see that one coming. So, Omen of the Dead's gonna resolve. Pick up the Glenhawk. Play the Glenhawk. We pick up the Tithing Blade. Play the Tithing Blade. Thorn dies again. Snuff out. Lame. Okay, Thorn dies again. There it's six. Play Novice Inspector. Now I feel like I can just flip my stuff and they'll die. Plays Murmuring Mystic. And a Fairy Seer. Draws a card for turn. But what should I do? I should probably just flip my thing, right? Let's play a Thraven Inspector. They have a Counterspell. Okay. Flip the Tithing Blade. Um, I'll attack with a Glenhawk. Let's see if they want to trade both their birds for it. Both the Flyers are going to get eaten. Okay. I think this is fine. I'm just trying to keep them from pressuring me. They have three cards in hand. I still have a cast down for the Murmuring Mystic, but they probably have a spell. All right. Rainy one. Cast down on the Murmuring Mystic. Also, this makes cast down live into a spell center sprite. Yeah, wow. We win. Sweet. Uh, Arms of Fadar is good. Suffocating Fumes is actually good here. I'm just going to get rid of the duresses. I don't really care. Okay, so we can do some stuff. Let's keep grabbing an island, or uh, not an island. What? I'm just so used to playing familiars. I play a fairy seer. We're going to grab turn one planes. Then we have tithing blade if they play a turn two ninja. If they don't play turn two ninja, we can see what they leave open. If they leave open mana for a spell sutter sprite, we might have to just like not do anything. Get in. We could also Basilica back the land, since I have so many land drops lined up. Let's do that. Pick up the land. I will discard the planes. A cycle of Lorien revealed. So they did not get a tap land. They got a regular island. Gets in. Play a land. Pass the turn. They kind of got out ahead of me here. Okay, they're picking up a land. Let's see what they're going to do. Gets in for one. So let's start with Raven Inspector and see if they spell setter sprite. No spell setter sprite. Okay. Looks like okay, they're gonna attack. No, nothing else. Let's cycle cycle this clue. We draw land. Play Vault of Whispers. Going to attack. Play Alembus. Is spell setter sprite. Okay. I'm gonna deadly dispute the Thraven Inspector. The spell. See if they have a counterspell for my Glenhawk. No. All right. We'll pick up a land. I'm trying to get on the table so I can block their darn fairies. Um, it didn't seem like they had anything going on. Snuff out. Okay. 
Uh, let's see if they have something to respond to the Tithing Blade. Another Spell Setter Sprite. I have another Tithing Blade. Yeah, we lose. We lose hard. We were on the draw and that mattered. So we need maximum early game, right? Yeah, I think it's fine the way it is still. I probably just got greedy and started trying to do things too soon and discarding the land there was maybe bad. Okay, we're on the play. Uh, we'll keep this. We have a turn two Lembus into starting to play Glenhawks. And if we find a land, then we can Glenhawk with uh, backup. Grab the planes. They have dispels, all sorts of stuff. Plays a preordain, so no answer to my Lembus, which is good. Land, play the Lembus. I'm going to bottom this land since I have another land drop. Plays Augur of Bolas. Okay. What do they find? Nothing. This is kind of neat that we have the Okiba gang here. So let's Glenhawk, return the Lembus, play the Basilica, and then threaten the Disfigure here. Plays a Contaminated Aquifer. Snuff out. All right. Do you have a ninja? They have the ninja. All right. So I'm going to cast down the ninja and then play the Lembus. Kill that. Play the Lembus. Top the cast down. So they have a Augur. Revealing a Preordain. Cast the Preordain. Okay, so I think I want to Glenhawk and then kill this thing. Novice Inspector. All right, uh, Glenhawk. Yes, return Lembus. Play Novice Inspector. And we're going to cast down the Augur. Plays a Fairy Seer. I really want to try to Okiba Gang them, but I don't know if they're going to have like a cast down or something. Play an Augur of Bolas. Finding a Dispel. Plays a land. Going to attack with the Glenhawk. Use a Snuff Out. We know they have Dispel in hand. All right, we'll see if they can use it. Uses the Dispel. Let's deadly dispute this clue. Trying to draw enough lands to do something meaningful. Not really. Play a three-minute Spectre. So they brainstorm and play an island. Four cards in hand. Gets in. Okay, let's go for the attacks. Now I am the one with the Okiva gang. <laughs> okay, what are you going to discard? You have to discard two cards. Counterspell and a Swamp. Interesting. They cast a Lorien Revealed. Plays a Maestro Theater. Um, going to I think blade them, and then just attacking will make them have to block the Okiba gang. I think they could just discard three cards. They're not going to do that. Let Skyfisher back the Tithing Blade. Play Arms of Hadar on me. Fair enough. Pass down. <clears throat> Let's lead on a Thraven Inspector. They probably have a Spell Setter Sprite. They don't. Play another one. No, th no spell setter sprite. Let's Lembus then. Thorn on my turn. Okay. On my side, I mean. Okay, so we're playing like the removal game. We might have one more counter spell in hand. We win the game. We're 3 0. Let's go. Round four on the play. All right, we're going to mulligan once again. I think our opponent plays walls, but I don't remember. We don't have any really good uh, sideboard cards versus walls, if that's the case. Oh, no, they're on. Um, they played Mogwarts or Goblin Combo the last time I faced them, I think. We're going to five. This is fine. <clears throat> so what do we put back? Thraven Inspector or Limbus? I'll put back the Thraven Inspector and the Ancient Den and lead on a Swamp. This way I can Glenhawk back to Limbus or I can Tithing Blade them. Just kind of depends what they're up to. Maestro's Theater. I can get a Island Swamp or Mountain. Gets an Island. Let's play Limbus. I will top the land. I think I probably want to use the land for a uh, White Source. Plays a Fairy Seer. All right, I'm going to... Hmm. question is whether to Tithing Blade the Fairy Seer or to Glenhawk back to Limbus. I feel like Tithing Blade on the Fairy Seer is probably better. They are probably on Blue Black Fae. Okay, we can lead on Tithing Blade, then just pick it back up. And your turn. That stops them from being able to Spell Sutter Sprite a 2-drop. Well, they could Spell Sutter Sprite the Thraven Inspector. 
But if we play Thraven Inspector and they Sprite, then I just get to Tithing Blade their Thraven, their uh, Sprite. They have to play a land. Nope, they're cycling. So here this turn, we're going to go land, Thraven Inspector, draw a card. Play a land, grabbing a Plains, play the Thraven Inspector, let's draw a card. I mean, that's signifying that we don't have a removal spell right now, but I think that doesn't matter that much. They go to 19. It's nice to get some X F6 value here. Plays Bajukavog, getting rid of my two storefronts. So it's definitely, I mean, we already knew it was blue-black fairies, but this is like probably the um, Basu list. All right, we have a Thorn of the Black Rose, huh? We'll play that. They might counterspell, or they might just not deal with it and then kill my creatures and play their own Thorn. Well, let's play this Obscure Storefront, grabbing a Swamp, and I will see if they want to just flash in a, fairy, a Spell Sword Sprite just to attack. And I'm going to attack with my Thraven Inspector, because that way, if they flash in a Spell Sword Sprite end step, then I have a blocker. And they have to do more than one thing. We're going to at least draw one card off the Thorn. Okay, they kill the Thorn, take no damage here. We draw an Ancient Den. We still have plenty of ways to remove creatures from their table if they actually play a creature. So if they play a Thorn of their own, we can Tithing Blade it, and then play Novice Inspector and draw a card. That's for blue, playing a Brainstorm. Probably going to play Augur of Volus based on how they tapped before. They went blue-black, untap the black, play a Brainstorm. Augur of Volus just dies to a Tithing Blade really easily. Nothing. Okay. Kind a deadly dispute. All right, let's attack with the Thraven Inspector and the Glenhawk. They snuff out the Glenhawk. I'm going to deadly dispute it. Draw some cards. Okay, they take one. So now I do think I just want to run the Novice Inspector out into the Spell Sorcerer Sprite. Because I can just Tithing Blade it away. They're going to let that happen. Novice Inspector again. We are going wide. There's the Spell Sorcerer Sprite that I knew was going to happen. My question is if they have a Spell Pierce here. Tithing Blade or Spell Sorcerer Sprite? They don't have the Spell Pierce. Let's go. All right, your turn. We draw from Monarch, finding a cast down. I think this is solidly in the bag. This is the second uh, blue-black we faced. Three mana, four mana, plays their own thorn. Sure, so they get to draw one card off the thorn, but we have cast down, and we can lend this into something else. Three cards in hand. They could have double snuff out, I guess. Actually, now that we have the Glenhawk, let's just Glenhawk back the Tithing Blade and replay it. Your thing dies. Let's play Lembus. I'll put the Lembus on the bottom. It's too much random stuff. And I'll play a Skyfisher, picking up the Tithing Blade. Swing for four or two. We take back the Monarchy. They're pretty dead. All right, what do you got? Augur of Bolas. Will they scoop it up? They find a Preordain. Cast a Preordain. This deck is a lot stronger than I thought it was going to be. Goes top bottom. All right. So they could counterspell the Tithing Blade, I guess. No, no counterspell. Nothing. I understand. Let's deadly dispute a Lembus then. Draw some cards. Now they counterspell? That doesn't make any sense. I will draw a card with the clue. Mm, yep. Find a Glenhawk. Let's Glenhawk back the Tithing Blade and attack. So they're on a one turn clock. We draw for a Monarch and get a Thraven Inspector. There's, I feel like there's nothing that they can do here. I guess Arms of Adar. They could Arms of Adar. Yeah, that does it. Fair enough. Let's duress. Okay, no Lorien for you. Play the Thraven Inspector. Draw a card. Play a land. Getting a land. And swing. They go to four. We draw Suffocating Fumes. I'll probably just cycle that. It's nice that we got rid of their Lorien Revealed with the Duress. Plays. All right, we win. I'm going to bring in my arms again, cutting the Duresses. I think that's probably fine. We could also bring in more Omens, but cut the cast down for an Omen. I feel like keeping them, having maximum removal is important. Maybe one Lembus is not really necessary. We could bring in the Omen, but then that's like playing to the late game. Still need things to pick up and put down. 
All right, this hand seems pretty fine, I think. Let's keep it. We can lead on a novice inspector and then start doing stuff from there. They play a fairy seer, but we are gonna get on the table and we can even Glenhawk back the clue if we want to, although that's probably not great. Maybe just not having a removal spell in the hand is not good. We go top top on the scry. Land, novice inspector. Plays a land. Will they have a ninja? No ninja this turn. Plays Augur of Bolas, effectively breaking my uh, novice inspector. Finds a counter spell. They don't have a removal spell for the Glenhawk right now. I'm just gonna Glenhawk back the clue. That way they can't attack me with their fairy seer. I'll play the Bajuka Bog here because I still want to uh, draw a few lands. So by fetching beforehand, that would have made me less likely to draw a land. No attack. Okay. Play the Storefront and not attack as well. Grabbing a Swamp. Fourth land for the opponent. What are you going to do? Nothing. Okay. Play a land. Guess I'm passing. We could try for a cast down on the Fairy Seer. And then they'll probably like have, they, we know they have Counterspell though. The problem, it's a swamp. Hmm. All right, find a course Skyfisher. Okay, I could have maybe played the Glenhawk and then they could have used Counterspell. I could have done something else. Two mana for an Augur Bolas. So now if I cast down, it's gonna do something. Let's attempt to cast down the Fairy Seer. That resolves. Okay, let's play Core Sky Fisher. So they probably have a counterspell here for the Core Sky Fisher. And then I will Tithing Blade them. They're gonna let that resolve. Okay, I'll pick up the Novice Inspector then. Play the Basilica. Pick up the Bajuka Bog. Well, I feel like I should just pick up a regular land. Now I can attack them in the air. Send. What are you gonna do? Sorry, bump the mic. Brainstorm for the opponent. Okay, they cast down my Skyfisher, so now I can Omen of the Dead my Skyfisher back. Let's see what they're going to do. There's a Preordain. Skyfisher's probably going to want to pick up the Omen of the Dead. It's tough to say. They get in. Will they ninja? They are going to ninja. Now, if they play another creature here, we know they have Counterspell, so kind of see. It'll be interesting to see what they do. I'm trying to get to the point where I can play through their Counterspell. Novice Inspector, doesn't do anything. All right, let's play Core Skyfisher. Now they're gonna counter the Core Skyfisher, huh? Okay, so now I can Tithing Blade you and then play the Ancient Den and Glenhawk back the Tithing Blade. They could have Arms of Hadar. I'm not gonna attack. I wanna trade with the Ninja. They have the Arms, okay. I mean, we have Arms of Hadar as well. They go to six cards in hand. Are you gonna play the auger? No auger of bolus. I will attempt to kill your creature. Not a great trade for me. Draw a card. Play a land. That's the turn. Oh, my Okiba gang. They jam a murmuring mystic. Okay, so if they have a spell here, let's go tithing blade. Let's kill your creature. I think we're losing here. Stinks. They land. We could come back at any moment, like if we can. Oh, that's cost five. Your turn. Darn. Just having to play th around the spell sort of sprite constantly is what wrecked me here. They have another ninja. I'm going to scoop it up. Actually, yeah. All right, whatever. They have their own Okiba gang. So we need. I guess maybe the duress is useful. Maybe the Okiba gang is not as useful as the duress is to just force through. Get rid of the thorn. Um, the arms. Get rid of the fumes. All right, I'm just going to go like this. Get rid of these two top end cards and try to be lower than them and get in. Uh, I guess I'm keeping this. We have stuff to do early. Land, duress, turn two, lembus, turn three, glinthawk, plus cast down for a spell setter sprite. We're looking to take a counter spell or if they have. They just have island. So I'm going to take their preordain. Greedy plays island. Let's go Lembus. It would be great if we just strand them on their lands. I can top this land, I think. 
We'll see what they do here. Oh, they found a Lorien. Brutal. Place contaminated aquifer. Or they find a contaminated aquifer. So they have snuff out here. Lorien coming up later. Play Glenhawk. We'll return the Limbus. And play the Limbus. Just trying to draw creatures. Snuff out on my guy. Um, Humes, I think I don't want. There's a Glenhawk again. The spell service, right? Orion again. Jeez. Getting an island. They have counterspell. Snuff out's gone. Plays an island. I will Glenhawk. Spell sort of sprite. And I have a disfigure. Spell sort of sprite does not resolve, or it resolves and then it doesn't do anything. We're going to pick up the Limbus, play the Basilica, and pick up the land. So they still have uh, counterspell auger. We do have cast down. Plays a preordain. It's too bad we uh, duress their preordain away and they just rip the land. <laughs> Thoughtseize bug? Nah, we didn't. We didn't really Thoughtseize bug them because it wasn't the same thing. Plays the auger of bolus. So I guess here I'm looking for tithing blade. So I can limbus into tithing blade maybe. Plays an aquifer or skyfisher. Play the limbus. Get a bottom land. Let's glenhawk back the limbus. And then Lembus again. Take the creature and swing. We're trying to flood the board um, so that we can take the thorn or the, the monarchy from the thorn. They brainstorm. Still has counterspell in hand. I guess the Augur Volus is out of their hand now. Shoot. So they have Thorn of the Black Rose, Augur, and a counterspell. Two unknowns. They attack for one. Snuff out. They flip a ninja. Okay. Play the Augur of Volus. Finding another snuff out. They're doing my damage for me. They just keep killing themselves. Okay, so play Thraven Inspector. Murder this thing. Play Core Skyfisher. I'll pick up the Limbus. It's nice to have this Omen of the Dead here. Play the Basilica. Pick up the Plains. Put them to eight here. Now that snuff out's looking pretty greedy. Not, not looking too hot for them. They're at 8. Plays a Contaminated Aquifer. No attacks. Let's swing with my flyers. They're going to kill a flyer. Oh, minus 3. So I'm going to Deadly Dispute on my Skyfisher. So they probably counterspell it. They don't counterspell. Interesting. Okay, so they take 0 damage. I'll play Novice Inspector. These are all the cards in their hand. Okay, that resolves. Play a Lembus. Still have the Snuff Out. Another Deadly Dispute. I guess I top that. Play the Vault. We have multiple clues as well. We have three creatures. They Snuff Out my creature. Let's Deadly Dispute it. I have the Counterspell. Now I'm going to go Omen of the Dead. Get back Core Skyfisher. <coughs> So if we find one removal spell, their thorn's going to be not good. They just have thorn in hand. Plays the thorn. So we'll go Skyfisher back to Omen, Omen back to Glenhawk. Glenhawk, play the Limbus. If we don't find a removal spell right away. Cast down. Kill this. We win the match. We are 4-0. Sick. Let's go to the last round. All right. Round five. On the play again. We have one land, and that's it. So we're going to mulligan. Too many lands. This is probably have to mulligan this one, too. Okay, we have a decent amount of lands. Glenhawk can pick up the Tithing Blade, and we probably don't need two Tithing Blades, right? So let's put back Tithing Blade, and could put back the Thraven or the Lembus, but I think I'd take, take it like this, play the land, grabbing, let's see. We have more one drops that are planes, so I'll take the planes. One drops that are white, I mean. They play Volatile Fjord, so likely playing against a uh, Is It Control deck. So Lembus into Glenhawk is pretty solid, but we have to not get the Lembus countered. Plays a Volatile Fjord, Augur of Bolas. Wonder if I want to just Tithing Blade into Glenhawk? Probably worth it. Player creature make a Glenhawk. Or. Yeah, let's just keep their stuff off the table. 
Linhawk, pick up the Tithing Blade. So long term, I'm not sure how I win this matchup because they're a control deck that has a lot of a lot of value. They can kill all my stuff really easily. I guess the uh, extra <coughs> Omen of the Deads are pretty good. Let's swing out. They kill my creature. Yep. So they're probably going to Monarch me. Really needed this Lembus to resolve. I probably should have played the Lembus instead of the Tithing Blade. All right, fine. Play Monarch right now. I'm going to be sad. Playing Augur of Bolas. Hmm. All right, let's go for Lembus again. If they have another counter spell, once again, I will be sad. I'm going to Bajuka Bog you, at least putting your Terror on the back end. So they have four mana, five mana now. They have three cards in hand. They're going to hard cast Lorien Revealed, getting a ton of value. Brutal. Okay. We can Tithing Blade them. And then Deadly Dispute the Tithing Blade, draw some cards. And play a Novice Inspector. Play a land. Pass the turn. So if they don't... Hmm. This would have been way better on this turn after they had tapped out for their... Uh, <coughs> For their Lorien revealed, because we could just like slam in with the Okiba gang. Of course, if they tap out for a monarch, we could cast down the monarch, attack and, and Okiba them, which would be huge. It's unlikely that the Okiba gang will connect because they'll probably just have a removal spell. They pay five. Okay, so they are actually on fairies. That's interesting. First thing I'm gonna do is kill this. And I was considering maybe they're on fairies. But it didn't seem li that likely, and it's really weird that it's, it is the case. We're getting in with a Novice Inspector. Let's Ninja. Hope they don't have a removal spell. Yes. Okay, eat two cards. So they discard Smash to Dust and Spell Setter Sprite. They probably have another Spell Setter at hand. Plays a Crimson Fleet Commodore. Plays one land. One card in hand. Draws a card. Let's draw a card. Attack. They have to trade. If they have the spell setter, I'm pretty hosed. No spell setter. Let's draw a card. Maybe I shouldn't have tapped the white land. Basilica and pick up the Bajuka Bog. Interesting they have no response there. What are they holding in their hand? More like ninjas and stuff? Lorien Revealed is a good thing to be holding on to. So we just have to hope they have no blocker and no removal spell in hand. Plays a Fairy Seer. Draws a card for the Monarch. We're going to attack. No blocks, huh? Interesting. All right, let's Bajuka Bog them. Get rid of all your stuff. Do we draw a removal spell? No. Okay. Bummer. At least we got one draw. Now they're going to ninja me with the Fairy Seer and then play the Fairy Seer again as a blocker. There's the ninja, the deep hours. I mean, just getting all of our Lembuses countered was terrible. And that's probably where the mistake was made for me, I think. <coughs> I really thought they were on Is a Terror. Another Fairy Seer. They scribe top top twice, so they have something really good on top. Probably a spell setter sprite. I'm just gonna scoop it up. Disappointed, but you know, we mold to five. Congrats, Druo. So we're bringing in the arms of Hadar. I'm gonna cut these two cards. Maybe Dawnbringer Cleric is okay, because he can block the ninjas. But what do we really want to take out? I don't think we don't want to take out anything. Let's just submit. There's no reason to keep our Thorn the Black Rose in because if anything, we want to just steal the Monarch. We just need more and more and more removal spells. Okay, on the play again, we got to get under Spell Setter Sprites. We have a Tithing Blade. Let's keep this. Storefront for a Plains and then pass the turn. Okay, I'll play the Storefront and grab a Plains. And that's my turn. When it plays Land Go, we'll play Basilica and pick up the planes, and then probably play the Lembus and the Bajuka Bog. They're brainstorming. You'll turn one brainstorm. It's not very strong. Plays a land. All right, let's Lembus. Looking for maybe a Glenhawk. Deadly Dispute is fine, maybe? Sure, I'll top it, Bog you. Plays Augur of Bolas. No problem, finding a counter spell. Let's play a land and Tithing Blade or Augur. And then I'm going to Lembus. I wonder if they have a Spell Pierce. Looks like no. I do not want another land. Find a Disfigure. 
So Disfigure can take out their red monarch, but not a blue monarch. If they do get monarch of the black or uh, the monarch going, we're going to be in a bad spot. We can definitely dispute a Lembus at least. <clears throat> and then if they go for like spell Slayer sprite on my Glenhawk or something, then we have lots of answers. Just that turn four monarch is brutal. They have the turn four monarch. Let's deadly dispute the Lembus. Draw. Nothing. Dang. All right. Kill this. Pick up the bog. Now we're going to get buried. At least we're going to be making land drops. That's kind of unfortunate for the way to the beat it, for this uh, end game to go. Darn. We just have no creature. Do they have counterspell in hand? Yeah. <coughs> So now we just have to make land drops and then wait for them to tap out and try to land a creature. Okay, get another uh, dual land. Pass the turn. Going to eight cards in hand. Discard into hand size. We're going to bog you. And F6. I'm trying to keep them off of terrors at least while making land drops. Play a land. Play a fairy seer. They go bottom bottom. Plays another fairy seer. Pop bottom. So let's see. I can cast down a fairy seer and then they didn't do anything. Okay. Play core sky fisher. They use their counter spell. We'll just kill this. They land past the turn. I should have probably brought the uh, omen in. Maybe it's right for me to flip the tithing blade here. Play murmuring mystic. Hmm. That sucks. I mean, we can wipe. Let's. Core Sky Fisher, see if they have another counter spell. All right, I'm gonna scoop it up, unfortunately. I mean, maybe we could get there, but I just, I feel like we got wrecked. 4-0 is nothing to sneeze at. Let's see what maybe we would have drawn. Nothing, we can't see it anyway. They had full control of the game. GG's. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you in the next video.